Hi guys, Steve Woody here and I'm just making a very quick video today just to say that if you've got a website, um, you really, really want to be using this tool. This is a fantastic bit of kit that will really help you to identify how quickly your website is loading and um, how quickly other people are loading your website. So a really, really good tool to use. Um, I'm just going to quickly show you through it now. The tool is called Pingdom um, and this is sort of the dashboard but I'm not too worried about this at the moment. Let me just go in and we'll do a quick test. Um, the site that you'll want is tools.pingdom.com. So if you go to tools.pingdom.com, you can actually run this test. Now, this is my server, so I'm going to actually do a test here on... I'm going to do it from my domain now. I always run them from Amsterdam. I don't know why, I just tend to run them from there. I'm going to type in my domain name, Online Mastery, and we're going to run a test. And what it's going to do is it's going to test three things. It's going to test how many requests are made on this page, uh, the page size and then how long it takes for this page to load. Now the industry standard at the moment that I consider to be the standard is four seconds. So you really don't want your website to take any longer than four seconds to load. My standard is two seconds. So as you can see by my standard this website is too slow. What I can now do, I can look through and I can see what is taking so long for this website to load. And we can see that just on the, the request here, it's taking nearly a second just to request the site. Then it's taking another second um, just over for the, for the site to load. Um, and we can see that after that, there's a, a few um, style sheets and things that are being loaded here in relatively no time at all. Um, if I, ah, oh, see, this is interesting. If I scroll down here, we can see that this is nearly a second to load a, um, a, a CSS file in a plugin. And it's saying, what this it is, it's ready, it's saying that it cannot find this CSS file. Now, do you know what, I'm actually, I'm going to do this now, I'm going to do it live so that I can show you, I can actually show you what I mean and how good this tool is, this is fantastic, this has happened here. Um, I'm going to log into my website and if I go into my, my dashboard, uh, my WordPress dashboard, um, in settings, now I know that by looking at, sorry if I slow down a bit, if I show you here, this is a plugin I've got called WHMCS and it's trying to load a style sheet. Now I know if I go into um, my settings I've got WHMCS Bridge which is the plugin I'm using and if I scroll down this page here I can see that it's, you can see here it's trying to load the style sheet that doesn't exist. So if I untick that box and update this page what I'm now going to do, I'm now going to come back here and I'm going to request this again to see if this has now disappeared. So we had 3.47 seconds before and now if I do a retest we should see that it's actually going to be quicker now. So from the just over the 3 second mark it was before we can already see just by making that one little adjustment on my website it's now down to 2.5 seconds. I've just shaved almost a second off of my load time by that one little tweak. But the the thing that I really wanted to show you today was the um, the actual website itself, uh, ping, uh, mypingdom.com or my.pingdom.com. Now, I can go into the dashboard here and I can actually view um, my site and it will actually tell me here that by registering, and you can, this is free of charge, there's no cost to this. You can register one website and I've registered Online Mastery um, and what it will do, it will give you 20 credits free. Now if for any reason that you have a problem with your website and it goes down it will send you a text message saying your website's down and this actually happened to me once that my website went down I had a text message I wasn't even aware I went on I found out that my server had rebooted and it hadn't quite loaded properly and for that reason I was able to go straight in I was able to identify it before anybody knew and that only happened because of this that's why I've got 18 credits because I had a text message that said your server's down and then I went in, rectified it, and had another text message saying your server's back up. And you can see the response time on a server, fantastic. You can see if you have any downtime, it's it's brilliant tool to use. And what I've just installed, and I've just gone onto Facebook and I've asked people if they can just quickly um, pop onto my uh, website. Just pop onto the website and then leave again. And the reason I've done that is because we've got a thing here which is uh, it's real time um, real time monitoring. So you've got real user monitoring here. And I've got on here um, the website, Online Mastery. And by loading this, what this is going to do is this is going to show me that over 34 page views, so for 34 um, unique visits to the site, 
um, I've got an average load time, uh, load time of 3.5 seconds. Now we can go through and we can see by country. Now, admittedly, we can see that 13 times that was me loading it on different devices and checking it out. Uh, we can see that the Netherlands, uh, the United Kingdom, the United States, we've got Australia, welcome. I do feel sorry for Australia. It's taken them 12 seconds in Australia to load my website. There's a massive, massive problem there. I need to look at that straight away. And I'm going to do that as soon as I get off this recording. Um, Germany, guten tag, 3.3 seconds. So we can see different people in the world where they're viewing my website, um, how long it's taking them to, to load the website. Now, four seconds is, is the industry standard, as we can see. The USA, slight delay there. Australia, massive delay there. Everyone else is within reason. I just need to work on my personal preference to make sure they're under the two second mark. And I'll be doing that as soon as I get off this video. We can, uh, we can scroll down and we can see um, you can actually set. So I've set my benchmark at two seconds. So only one person satisfied there. Um, this is 3%. Um, 21 people are tolerating it and 12% must be frustrated because it's taking more than four seconds to load. Um, we can see how it looks on a, a phone, a tablet, a desktop, um, the network inside of it, the back end, the front end, loads of different analytics we can check. Um, how many people are loading from Chrome, Safari, Firefox, Internet Explorer, and what pages they're loading it on. So uh, it's very interesting to see there, to see where people are coming in and to see what the, you know, uh, 4.8 seconds here to go into my client area. So this is a, a good example of things that are taking a little bit longer. Um, so we can go through and we can do that and there's so many different ways that you can um, you can use the analytics you can you can check the state out of, uh, of different things um, browsers as we've already done platforms experience uh, location pages so lots of um, statistics here that you can use to to analyze how well your website is loading and I would really recommend that you get onto this it's completely free of charge you don't have to pay to set this up it's absolutely free. If you want to, um, if you want to monitor more websites, it will cost a bit extra, but it's a fantastic tool, and I would highly, highly recommend that if you get the opportunity, go onto here, test your website, and set it up for your website.